Welcome back to The Price of Business. I'm your host, Kevin Price, talking to you about you and your business. Got the one and only Robert Jackson on. He's with Sitters, etc. A phenomenal franchise. I think it's incredibly timely with what's going on with the uh, baby boomers uh, out there. It's incredible. Uh, One-third of the population are baby boomers. Uh, and then there's still a huge number of uh, silent generation left and even some of the greatest generation left, although that's shrinking quickly. But, uh, you know, this this is a growth industry of helping uh, seniors uh, and, and others who uh, are in need of help. Sitters, sitters et cetera, that's uh, sitters, et cetera, dot com, helps people in that arena. And we're delighted to have Robert as a contributor on The Price of Business to kind of tell us what's going on not only in his industry, but to bring on people who uh, have a lot of expertise in the franchise arena in general. Robert, a little more about Sitters, et cetera, and your guest today. Kevin, it's great to be back on uh, with you, and thanks for hitting all the the key points there about our demographic. Uh, Sitters, et cetera, uh, as you know, is celebrating our 12th anniversary. Um, We have uh, nine corporate locations in Tennessee and Arkansas and provide over 300,000 hours of care to individuals in their homes every year. And what we are uh, so proud uh, to be able to do is expand our home care model across 40 states, uh, including, of course, Texas. And we we hit a milestone recently when we were able to bring our home care model uh, into the state of Florida, uh, which, as we all know, has a huge uh, opportunity in terms of the demographic there and the need is very great and still growing with the baby boomer population. And um, today's guest is our new area developer, Ralph Lawton, who came on board in March and uh, has a uh, great background uh, in uh, executive recruiting and staffing. He's worked on multiple, multiple continents, not just the U.S., but in Australia as well. So, uh, Ralph, good morning to you. If you tell us a little bit more about your background and why you believe that this is such a great opportunity for you to build Florida. Sure. Uh, well, first, good morning, Bob, and good morning, Kevin. Thanks for to both of you for having me on today. Uh, yes, as, as, as you mentioned, uh, I've got a, uh, about a 17-year career in uh, legal recruiting uh, at a fairly high level. I practiced as a lawyer in Miami for a number of years in the early days and uh, then decided to combine my business experience, my legal experience, got into legal recruitment in Florida, uh, became vice president of the Florida region for the largest national legal recruitment company in the United States. Um, I worked in Fort Lauderdale on Las Olas. I opened up the Miami office. I opened the Tampa office for the company. I ran the Jacksonville office, and I traveled two to three times a week uh, between those offices, uh, you know, hired uh, management, trained and developed management, as well as staff uh, on business development, on marketing, uh, on uh, recruitment, candidate recru- external candidate recruitment, internal uh, candidate recruitment. And as you mentioned, I also worked in Australia. Uh, it was a strange set of circumstances, but the bottom line is uh, for a few years uh, between 2008 and uh, 2011, I was in Australia. I was the managing director of a, an international legal recruitment firm there where we placed uh, uh, attorneys, lawyers, uh, Across other, you know, continents in in, in England, uh, in Dubai, in the, uh, the uh, Arab, uh, United Arab Emirates, in Dubai, in Abu Dhabi, in Hong Kong, in Japan, in New Zealand, in Australia, etc. I'm probably missing a few places. So, when I was looking personally for an opportunity uh, for the uh, next stage of my career, I really felt that there's a great synergy between my uh, recruitment experience and what's going on in the senior home care industry right now, particularly uh, in the United States and particularly in Florida. Uh, So for that reason, I thought that the path to uh, area development through sitters, et cetera, was ideal for me to uh, help uh, prospective franchisees uh, purchase their own business, get involved at home, health care, and with my help, uh, assistance, coaching, mentoring, training, development, you know, uh, helping them grow their business. So how long have you been doing this, and are you covering the whole Florida region or certain parts of Florida? You sure, Kevin. Uh, I, I uh, got involved 
I got involved with sitters back in February. Now, I'll have to say that uh, from uh, probably, you know, October, I've been in, you know, dealings with sitters, et cetera. I, I took about a year of due diligence on the industry. Kevin looked at a number of other opportunities, uh, got in touch with uh, Bob Jackson in Nashville uh, with sitters, et cetera, around October, and uh, finally signed on the dotted line, made the commitment in February uh, to join sitters. Uh, well, what was the second part of your uh, question? Oh, as far as uh, the territory in Florida, essentially all of Florida, I, I don't handle the panhandle west of Tallahassee. There's just a few counties over there uh, that are um, under the jurisdiction of, uh, you know, Alabama and uh, Louisiana, I think. Mm-hmm. Very good. Rob? You know, and uh, one of the things that uh, we work in partnership with area developers is <clears throat> when they have a good candidate, we uh, like to go through Discovery Day. So after they've gone through a series of webinars, Kevin, with us, and, and they feel this is a great fit for them to deal in senior care and rehab care, they'll come in for Discovery Day, which is a, a one-day visit into headquarters to meet the founder, understand our business model and our mission. And then from there, it's pretty much selecting their region with Ralph. Or are they going to work in Tampa or Orlando area or South Miami or wherever they're going to work? And then after that, they come in for a full week of training. So it's it's in partnership that we do this. So, so Ralph, uh, do you feel like the sitters model with having that process where we're working in a, in a team uh, environment to, to, to really get the candidate trained up, do you feel that's a, a good model for you? Uh, Bob, thank you for asking that question. It's one of the key reasons that I joined Sitters. Uh, there are a number of different franchise models out there. Uh, what I like about the Sitters model is the uh, area development model that requires the in-field coaching, mentoring, training, and development from the area developer uh, to the franchisee. In other words, part of my responsibility and the responsibility of other area developers and sitters will be to work shoulder to shoulder with the franchisees uh, in the pre-launch process for sure, but then also on an ongoing weekly and monthly basis while the franchisees are running their own business. And so what does that mean? Well, that means being available on a, on a weekly basis uh, for either phone, phone calls, uh, but as well as uh, in office visits to review uh, different criteria of the nature of the business. Talk about what their business development activity has been for the week, what their marketing activity is for the week, what advertising they're doing. Uh, talk about their re- candidate resources, you know, caregiver resourcing, any problems or issues that they may have, uh, any areas that they think uh, strategically where they can grow their business. So doing that for that week, but then also looking proactively uh, toward the next week, taking a look at basically taking a temperature of the business. What's their business pipeline look like? <clears throat> you know, do they have enough business development activity? Do they have enough caregivers available to go out on new assignments? And just addressing any issues or, frankly, complimenting them if they're doing a very good job. But that's a weekly activity that area developers have to do. I really feel like sitters partners in a true sense with franchisees uh, in the sitters, uh, et cetera, franchise network. Ralph, I like that model. Ralph, you have to forgive me, but we have to wrap it up. Ralph Lofton, he's oh, with uh, sitters, et cetera. Of course, Bob Jackson's with them as well. Delighted to get you both on, learning about this great business model and how people are uh, really changing people's lives in a really meaningful way while uh, and also a profitable way financially. I love it. Thanks, gentlemen. Thank you. Hey, thanks, Kevin. Appreciate when, it. When we come back, much more for you. I do want to remind you, the best content here shows up over there at usdailyreview.com. And this is The Price of Business.